Stay close, stay with hope It's not gone till we let it roll away You're the only, one and only You're the only one I feel I love again Break new ground. Discover more at ariat.com. One of the special stories from here at the 2023 Defender Burley Horse Trials is that this will be the final event for a real five-star stalwart. The evergreen Bradley Law, who is making his eighth five-star start this week, will bow out age 19 after Burley from five-star eventing. I spoke to his rider, Michael Owen, to find out more about this wonderful horse and their remarkable partnership. So, Michael, a very special test here at Burley because this, you have announced that you will be retiring Bradley Law after this event. How much did you enjoy it in there today? Um, I enjoyed it more than normal, to be fair, because I knew uh, it was his last test. I had to um, really focus on just enjoying the moment and not sort of putting too much pressure on ourselves to do a good test. Yeah. And actually, he probably did his best test he's ever done here, so... I should have thought about that years ago, not, not to sort of overpressure ourselves. But uh, I couldn't, I couldn't be happy with him today. Um, dressage has never been his favourite phase. It's been a means to an end, really. Um, but I'm just so looking forward to getting out there on Saturday and and doing what he does best. And tell me about your relationship with this horse. Where did it all start? So I got him uh, ten years ago. He was an intermediate horse um, with a friend of mine who. She struggled with him a little bit. Um, I think she just found him a bit of a handful because um, he is a bit quirky. Um, I luckily had a spare stable, um, took him on. Um, first few events were a bit ropey and then I sort of got to grips with him and we just gelled really. And um, I never dreamt the first few events that he would ever be you know, here doing multiple five stars. But um, when you get a partnership with a horse, it's amazing how far you can go. And was there a moment where you felt it click? Yes, I think, um, especially when I got him up to advanced and four-star, and he jumped round Blair four-star long, well inside the time, and just ate up for breakfast. I knew he was a burly horse, really, because Blair is very similar in terrain, and he just sort of he made it feel like a pony club track. So we were really excited once he jumped round Blair that we had a real big future with him. And he's taken you to so many five-stars. Well, you've done so many five-stars together. How much does he mean to you as a horse? He he means the world to us. He's sorry. He's he's amazing. I mean, he's he's part of the family now. He will stay with us forever. And um, the owners have kindly let us sort of have him stay with us because he loves it there. And um, yeah, I'm obviously emotional at the moment, but um, it's just hit me now. To be fair. And his no no don't apologise at all. I think it shows just how special these horses yeah. are and how much they do mean to us riders and. Yeah. His, am I right in saying that his owner bred him as well? Yeah, they bred him, um, and uh, they've, you know, they're here now. Uh, but they sort of stay in the background and just they let me treat him like he's my own, really. And that's been the key that we've 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 nursed him when he's been injured, and we've 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 been he's been very tricky. He's not been plain sailing, but that makes it all the more special, really. So um, it's just so nice that. He can come here and I'm just going to have fun. Whatever happens Saturday, Sunday, he owes us nothing. So, you know, we're just going to have great fun and enjoy it. And you mentioned he can be quite quirky and not always the easiest. What? Tell me a little bit more about his personality. So um, he, he has a sort of a, a switch in his brain that, I mean, at home he's so easy to handle and anybody can hack him, but when he gets to a big atmospheric show, as soon as he hears the cloud cr clapping has been the thing, he's really gone um, really tense and stressed. Not stressed, but you know, ex overexcited, boiled over for the dressage and I've not really been able to manage that until probably the last two or three seasons where he's actually let me, you know, access his, his body and get him more supple and he trusts me now that it, nothing's going to hurt him and, and he also knows that it's cross country coming so you sort of know that he knows that after today the fun stuff's coming so it's just um, a question of managing him and having a system that's worked. And looking back on all the things you've done with him, is there anything that stands out as being your highlights or particularly special moments? Um, I, mean, I always think of him as a special burly horse and the clear rounds he's given me here, how he's dug deep, because a horse has to dig deep here. It takes a very special horse to 
finished that cross country still full of running. Um, I've had two or three great rounds around here and I always think of, of him when I'm at Burley and I'll think of Burley as, as, as him with my future horses that will be here. Um, and he just gave me so much experience and confidence that you can go and, and compete with the best on, on, you know, on the world's toughest cross country course. Well, we've also enjoyed watching him as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guess of luck for the rest of the weekend. Thanks very much. Cheers. Head over to the Horse and Hound website to find out all the latest news and reports from here at Burley Horse Trials. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.